This is question one of the multiple choice, uh, and it says find the sine of negative four thirds pi. So we want to find sine of negative four thirds pi. Okay. So basically, what we want to do in this in this problem is not go through the very long process of converting the sine of a negative number into a sine of a positive number and then finding that sign. You could do that, but it's going to take you longer. So we want to try to approach this as quick as we can. So let's draw out first where this pi, uh, 4 thirds pi would be, right? So we're going, we know we're going the opposite way. Instead of going this way, we're going to go this way, okay? So if we went the right way, you know that it would have been on the third quadrant here, okay? But since we're going the opposite way, Let's go three quadrants down the opposite way, and we get to here. So one, two, three quadrants. So we get to here, okay? So it's somewhere in the second quadrant. Is pi uh, four thirds, uh, negative four thirds pi, okay? So basically, we know that the answer is gonna be a sine of some angle that's in the second quadrant. And remember, uh, I don't know if you do this trick in your class, but there's this trick that says, it's for high school students mostly, you have the option of taking AP Calc, AP Statistics, and most of the students choose one of those, they don't normally take both. So the trick is, all students take calculus, okay? So when you do that and you do it in the correct order, all means all, all trig functions, sine, cosine, and tangent are positive. So sine means only the sine, uh, or the S stands for only the sine is positive here, the T stands only the tangent is positive here, and only the cosine is positive here. So following this rule, if our angle uh, sits in the second uh, quadrant, that's the S quadrant, so all the signs are positive. So whatever this answer is, is going to have to be a positive number. So that rules out two of our multiple choice um, answers. So we're 50-50 now. Now, we need to figure out what the actual number is. So, from the multiple choice answers, we know that it's either going to be 1 half or square root of 3 over 2. So, we're going to try and figure this one out, okay? And uh, it has to do with, we know that an angle of uh, pi, over, pi over 2, um, like one of the angles that stands here, 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 it's either going to be 1, negative 1, or 0. We know that the, the 45 degree angle is going to be square root of 2 over 2, and that's for pi over 4. And then we have left pi over 3 and pi over 6. Okay? So these are the ones that people get mostly confused with. Uh, so what the trick that the way I memorize what these angles are is I just know it's the opposite of what it seems like. So you see a, a three, which is a very low number, but this angle is actually sixty. So the three, but it's actually sixty, and this one's actually thirty. So it's like the the opposite. I don't know if that helps you if you already know them. So you know, use it if it helps only. Um, so knowing that. I, I'm going to go ahead and graph, and pay attention here, I know I'm deviating a little bit, but it really is a good trick if you happen to just go blank and forget what angle it goes with what. So I'm going to go ahead, since we're looking for something that's pi over 3, um, you know, some number times pi over 3, I'm going to do that one first. So we know that's 60 degrees, so let's draw that with accuracy. Okay, with accuracy means, well, there has to be a 45, one that goes right above it, one that goes right below it, and then there's the 0 and the 90, okay? So I kind of want to make it look like it's going above this imaginary 45 degree line. And then I'm going to draw a triangle on it, okay? So if I'm looking for sine, uh, there's this trick that goes so katoa, okay? So sine would be so, so, so. So sine would be so with an H. So um, yeah, that means opposite uh, in 
and then hypotenuse, okay? A is adjacent, so O is opposite over, over whatever. So this one over that one. Hypotenuse. I can't spell hypotenuse. I think it's like that. And then adjacent. Okay, so soka toa, and you just kind of remember that that saying. So for sine here, we want the opposite. So the value of sine, this this number on the top is going to be the opposite, which means this one. So the kind of like the height of this over the the um, the hypotenuse. Okay, so the way I remember this is for sine. The so both both of the ones both of the hypotenuse are the same so we're really not gonna look at that we're gonna look at the comparison of the, the the top okay so the sine for for sixty degrees is bigger has to be larger than the sine for thirty degrees because of the fact that this height is smaller than that height okay so if you follow me repeat that again. So we're looking for the sine of 60. Sine is so. So opposite height over hypotenuse. Okay? The hypotenuses are the same, so we're not going to look at that. We're going to compare heights, which are the, happens to be the numerators over here. So the height of the angle, 60, which is the one that we're looking for, is, has got to be larger than this one. So which one of these are larger? Okay, this is 1. We know, this, we know the square root of 2 is somewhere around 1.141, I think, or 414, but the, the fact is it's bigger than 1. So square root of 3 has to also be bigger than 1. So this has to be bigger than that one. So the answer for that has got to be this guy. And then we determine is it positive or negative using the first um, thing, the first thing I taught you, and we had already determined it's positive. So it's going to be answer, it's going to lead us to answer D, which is positive square root of 3 over 2, okay? And then if you want to stay with me, I'm going to do a little side note, side note of how to convert these angles to positive angles, because you do need to know that, not for this question, but um, it's a related topic. So if you do want to hear that, then don't pause your video yet, okay? So... It's not going to take too much longer, I promise. So then we have, we want to convert this negative 4 thirds into a positive angle. So we already determined that negative 4 thirds was over here. So the way you do that is you either add or subtract 180 degrees. So if you, if, um, if you go 100, um, sorry, if you go, you want to go all the way around this way. So you want to add or subtract uh, a whole a whole pi. So sorry, it's, a, it's actually three, three hundred sixty, which would be two pi. Okay. So the way to choose if you're going to add or subtract is if if this sign is negative, you want to add, especially because you want to. The goal is to try to get this to become positive. So most of the time, you want to add to make this positive, and you'll keep adding two hundred two pi to this until it becomes positive. So if your first answer is not positive, just add another 360 degrees because you're always going to end up here. All you're doing is changing the signs. But you're going around a full circle. So first of all, we need to convert this so that the denominators are the same. So we're going to multiply the top and the bottom of this guy by 3. And so we get 2 times 3 is 6 pi over six, over three. So then when we add these, we get a uh, positive six minus a four, which is two over three pi. So in this in this case, we only have to do one addition of two pi, and we got a positive answer. So this is what we could plug into there. And it's the same thing. So sine of negative four thirds pi will equal sine of two thirds pi. And you could do it that way, way as well as the way I explained before.